side and that is this week's appetite. Demonstrating the donkey kick combo is going to require a little bit of effort from you, okay, because there's a lot to demonstrate. So we've got this alternating single leg, leg donkey kick, so you're jumping up and you're pushing the dumbbell forwards. It's really hard to demonstrate that really well when you're on land. So you've got to focus on what you want to teach. So I usually demonstrate the movement in its totality. Then I focus on what the legs are doing and I'll use the upper frame for this. So go to the upper frame, I like holding it in this position and bringing the knees up towards the chest, indicating how high the knees are going to come up. Then with the dumbbell, you're asking them to push the dumbbell down and see if they can bring their knee up to touch the bottom of the dumbbell. So this is how I would break that whole thing down. Okay guys, don't be keep pushing the dumbbell forwards. I want you to really pull your knees up towards your chest, seeing if you can get your thighs to touch the bottom of the dumbbell and drive that dumbbell down into the water. So that's how I'll cue that whole thing. So show the whole exercise so you can get them moving. We go back and cherry pick different things to intensify the exercise. So then we move on to the second part, which was a double donkey kick, which you can also demonstrate in the same way. Show the whole movement, then come to something like the upper frame, demonstrate this with both legs coming up. Remember the second hop, the leg that you're standing on, that needs to pull up in the intensity, and then go back to asking them to make sure they drive the dumbbell down. For the third part of this combo, the single, single, double, if you repeat the exact same process all over again, yep, so there, then using the frame, then indicating the dumbbell press down. If you don't have a frame, a chair that has a back on it is also good, but make sure you test it first on the surface that you're going to be using it on, because sometimes these chairs can go sliding and you and the chair could end up in the pool or otherwise it's going to be a nasty little injury. So you've got to make sure that your chair, bit like the upper frame, has good rubber stoppers so it won't slide on deck if you've got tiles. The final part of this combination where you've got the kick through is best done without any equipment because you've got to demonstrate the kick to the front. So you're going to go single, single, back, forward. Single, single, back, forward. Now, a little tip is I often demonstrate this with my back to the class so they can see what's going on with the legs. So I'll show you what I mean. Single, single, back, kick. Single, single, back, kick. And then I'll turn around back to the class to explain that they need to rotate and look towards the dumbbell as the leg kicks through. So there's a lot going on. Every part of this combo, there needs to be a visual demonstration. And as I mentioned when I was in the water, you may choose to have this spread out throughout a song, for example, if you're choreographing, so that you have the single donkey kicks for one part, double donkey kicks for another part, single, single double for another part, and then adding the kick forward for a final section. So it's really up to you how you want to do this. You can obviously put it all together which is going to be a great time spender. So by the time the participants go through all that, they will have spent quite a bit of time on one move, which is not a bad thing either. And that's this week's appetite. <laughs>